State. Timothy Gable hopes to win gold for the first time and do it in his hometown. Both look to become the first ever to land a quad at the U.S. Championships. Well, the Two men chasing history in Cleveland. The men's free skate is next. Timothy Gable. Ryan Brown. The State Farm U.S. Figure Skating Championships have come to Cleveland for the first time since 1964. And the fans here have turned out all week long, certainly here today. One of the moments they've been waiting for. The men's championship about to be decided. And the standings after this short program, it's Michael Weiss, the reigning champion first, but right behind him, Timothy Gable here in his hometown. Matthew Savoy ahead of Trifon Zabonovich, who was last year's silver medalist. And the order in which they'll skate, Gable will be up first. Zabonovich third, and Michael Weiss, after warming up, has to wait around. He'll be the last skater to take the ice and compete. Terry Gannon, Dick Button back with you. Glad to have you with us once again here in Cleveland. And Dick, you look at Michael Weiss, he came in as the reigning champ, but he wasn't the favorite. All the focus was on Timothy Gable. What does Weiss have to do now to win? What are the keys? Well, you've got to remember that he's coming off an injury of several weeks, and he's got to prove that he has the stamina to get through this program. If he does, and if he's on, you'll see that his presentation really has quite a nice impact. He does all the triple jumps, triple combinations. What he really needs is that quadruple jump. If he gets that, he's really golden. What about Timothy Gable now, 19 years of age, originally from Rolling Meadows, Illinois, but for, for some years he's lived right here in the Cleveland area. Look at what he has done in terms of expanding the boundaries of this sport with the quad, and that's what certainly this sport has become. The first person to land three quads in a single program, that was earlier this season. The first American to land a quad triple combination. The first American to ever land a quad that was in 1998. What should we look for here? Well, you've got to say that it's the quadruple jumps. Remember, his posture is not very good. That affects his presentation. He's not a theatrical skater. He does all the triples and triple combinations, but he needs those three quadruple uh, jumps. And remember, he couldn't complete one in the short program, although he did three at Skate America. It's really a question. How has he done all these quads? Well, researchers at the University of Delaware have broken it down into terms that all of us sports fans can understand. It's been said to be a great skater that it's necessary to have the balance of a tightrope walker, the aggressiveness of a football player, the nerves of a golfer, the flexibility of a gymnast, and the grace of a ballet dancer. In Tim's triple axle, he gets approximately 23 inches off the ice. Basketball player who has an average height of 6'7 is going to jump somewhere in the vicinity of 24 inches and, and dunk. The difference comes primarily during a landing. The basketball player can land on two feet and still maintain balance. Uh, Tim's got to land on an area about the size of your fingernail and, and put his skate down in a specific place or he falls. Tim doing the quad jump he has to build up as much angular momentum as possible in order to generate four revolutions. Second, when he leaves the ice, in order to generate that spin rate, he has to pull his body in as tight as possible. Now, the faster you're spinning, the harder that is to do. And so when he reaches his peak spin rate, he's really struggling to hold his body in position. You're asking this person to balance on a tightrope and at the same time go up and do all these jumps and spins 23 inches in the air and, sp and, and spin it 300 revolutions per minute and come down and land and keep skating as if nothing ever happened. Every skater has an element that they're known for. Tem's signature is this hydro blade. He's balancing his entire body weight on an eighth of an inch of a blade. His heart rate is at its maximum and has been for three or close to three to four minutes. Tim's muscles feel like they're screaming. That move is phenomenal. Strength, flexibility, control, balance in, in that one move are incredible. And then to come up out of that into a cell cow is just a tremendous amount of power this individual has. So when we compare the amount of effort, it's very similar to say like a four minute miler. The difference is when they're finishing their event, it's a, a face of pure agony and exhaustion. The skater, on the other hand, is finishing with beauty, line, and grace, and a smile on their face. 
Really is amazing where he has helped take this sport. Timothy Gable with three quads planned in his free skate. Michael Weiss, on the other hand, has only landed a quad in competition one time. That was at the 99 World Championships. For more on these two top contenders, let's go over and join Leslie Visser right now. Leslie? Terry, Michael Weiss plans to really attack his program. He said, I'm the defending champion for a reason, but I'm going to skate like I'm challenging for the title. By the way, he's chosen the music Carmen, typically selected by women skaters, to show his versatility that he can skate to more than classic rock. Well, as for Tim Gable, he's also very confident. He said his biggest problem this week has been ticket requests. He finally told his friends he didn't get hundreds of tickets. In fact, his father had to buy one. So Terry, if you have a couple extra, he could use them. Hey, Leslie, I had to borrow one from Dick Button to get in the building this week. So I gave, don't, don't I, look to me. I gave you a pass. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, if you want to be the 10th judge, you can do that right at home. To cast your vote on who you think won the men's championship, log on to abcsports.com at espn.com. You can vote. We'll give you the results of that vote later on this afternoon. Well, besides Weiss and Gable, certainly other men in this last group who can make some noise, medal perhaps, challenge for the win. Matthew Savoy is in third place after the short program. And remember, if Gentlemen, you're in the top three and you win the Please free skate, the you're the overall winner. And Triffin Zavanovic from Los Angeles, who was a silver medalist, surprise silver medalist last season, in fourth right now, Dick. Well, I've got to tell you something. D don't cut either of these two guys short. They are really fine all-around skaters. They've got some problems, each of them. But I'll tell you, they're very exciting and all-around good performers that we'll be seeing over the years. So here we go. The men's free skate. Four and a half minutes for the gold medal worth two-thirds of the overall score. And right out of the gate, it is the 19-year-old who lives just outside of Cleveland. He was in the building the four years ago in San Jose in Lakewood, Ohio, when Rudy Galindo won in his hometown. Timothy Gable. Timothy Gable, the bronze medalist from last season, who finished 12th at the World Championships. What a much improved, a much different skater this year. Now he has three quadruple jumps planned. They will be crucial to his overall impact. Flip jump. The ease with which he performs these triple jumps really belies the fact that they're a struggle for 99% of the skaters of the world. This combination, a triple axle, triple toe loop jump. Uh, he, you can see that he was leaning at the very start of the jump. That will not be counted as a combination that turns and steps in between the jumps. Now his first quadruple salkow toe, triple toe loop combination is right here. Triple salkow, triple toe loop. Now those, that really was outstanding. A quadruple salkow into a triple toe loop. So there you have it. The first man ever to do a quad at the U.S. National Championships. Fitting, I guess, that it is Timothy Gable. You know, you have to look very carefully at these revolutions. They go by so fast, you can uh, lose it in the blink of an eye. Now, his second quadruple toe loop. Good, easy, clean, wonderful, wonderful, eight, wonderful edging coming out of that. That makes two. On a roll. Remember, it was Skate America earlier this season where he hit three in one program, and that was the first time anyone had done it. Will he do it here again? And this, the quad, Salkow. Watch the two-foot length take off. Just exquisite. He did it. You see, that's a competitive spirit if there ever was one. Doing it when it's important. Three for three. 
Gable, who spent the week or much of it in a hotel, not at home, to get away from all the media, all the fans, all the friends, the family. Did attend some of his classes at Case Western Reserve University here. Straight line footwork into a triple Lutz. Spread eagle as part of that footwork. A knee slide. Notice this is in a straight line down the rink to the end and then curving. Lutz. Triple loop. The weakness, if there is any, is the fact that that was not a stretched out spin with very good position. Series of spins, turning butterflies down the ice. Back sit spin. It would be better if the back were straighter than being, being quite so rounded. But you know, you know, when you're leading with so many quadruple jumps, it's kind of doing a little nitpicking to talk about backs and pointed <laughs> feet, isn't it? Spread eagle here. Now watch him move, and this last combination, a very unusual entry, entrance, entrance fee, entrance feature, a hydroblade position, if out of which he steps right up. Here's the hydroblade. Now watch him step right up into a triple sulk. I'm not even putting the other foot down. That is a tough, tough entrance to that last triple jump. Well, uh, I, I don't think not, I don't think that not only Carol Heiss will go nuts, but so is the audience. I mean, they're really standing on their feet and throwing these stuff teddy bears at him <laughs> like he's the target on a dartboard. What a, what a day. <laughs> when he watched Rudy Galindo win in his hometown in San Jose four years ago, he said it was one of the great moments I had ever experienced. The entire building, no matter where anyone was from, they were with Rudy. Guess what? Everyone in this building save for maybe Michael Weiss's family, was with Timothy Gable. Three quadruple jumps in one program at the U.S. Championships. We'll have his very high marks when we come back right after this message and a word from our ABC stations. State Farm U.S. Figure Skating Championship. Looks good stretch back. Now this is the quadruple toe loop. And watch as he turns, steps to the other foot, and toe picks up into the air. Perfect, perfect position and, and clean, straight line coming out of it. Just very nice. And this quad salka. Now, watch how he uses the free leg. Does he put it on the ice there to help support himself? No, they have said he does not. So that's the interesting point. Oh, and look at these marks. There'll nine. be two sets, of course. Five the first for nine. technical merit. 5.9. Five, five eights. Five, five nine. nines. And 5.9. Those are very generous marks, and they reflect the enthusiasm for the triple and quadruple jumps. In fact, only one 5.8, five five the rest 5.9. Five 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 the crowd does seven. not like these. Presentation five marks 5.6 five 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 up to 5.8. Five five and they are perfectly justified seven. because five his presentation seven. is not at the highest level. That he has got to work on if he's going to challenge Evgeny Plyshenko at the World uh, Championships in Nice later in March. Plyshenko, of course, just won the European title over Alexei Yagudin. Not much room at the top for Michael Weiss and the rest of this final group. History-making performance for Timothy Gable in front of a home crowd. Here to compete on behalf of the Broadmoor Skating Club in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Let's welcome Ryan Bradley. So here is Ryan Bradley. How about the job he has right now ahead of him? 16 years old. He's in sixth place after the short program. He must feel like the JV team after the varsity just played. I'll tell you, this guy is so happy to be here. He has been sparkling since the day he arrived. The 99 U.S. Junior National Champion. 
look at his technical merit right here. A triple flip jump, triple toe loop. Now this triple Lutz, triple toe also needed triple Lutz, double toe. See, see, the fact that he's pulling these off very cleanly, I think will stand him in good stead in the technical merit marks. And on top of that, he's got very good positions and uh, a sort of a sense of theatrical flair through the rest of the program. Although having said that, this was not the best spin combination I've seen. Ryan Bradley, originally from St. Joseph, Missouri, started skating at the age of two following his sister to the rink. An all-around athlete, though. Baseball, basketball player, all-star in those sports. Very neat, clean, triple loop jump. A little flair there, doesn't he? Some confidence for a 16-year-old, huh? Now, that was not the difficulty level that he should have had at this point. The free landing foot at the end, at the end, e exit of it. That shows real control. Ryan Bradley, a six footer, he told us in the last two years he's grown some 10 inches. It's taken its toll on his knees and his legs. He has to ice down his knees after every practice. It's either a double. A triple axle and unfortunately incomplete. Incidentally, these friends list Hungarian Rhapsodies were what Hayes Jenkins, also of Cleveland Akron, used when he won the World Championships, when he stunned the World Championship with his fabulous performance early in the 1950s. Jump over, jump over, those are very nice. A little bit of a faltering at the end there. I think he didn't quite have the stamina or the experience to hold on to this thing. But the kid's got a little flair, doesn't he? He enjoyed himself, yeah. only 16 years of age. And Ryan Bradley. And isn't that what it's all about? Hey, let's go down to Leslie Visser. She's caught up with Timothy Gable. Leslie? Terry, he said, coming over on the bus, he just knew. Tim, congratulations. Describe Thank that you. experience. That was just the most amazing, amazing feeling I've ever had. Every 
every time I went into a jump, I just knew I was I was going to hit it, and I felt better at the end of the program than at the beginning. I just I can't even believe that it went that well. Once you hit the first quad, did you know the others would happen? Once I hit the toe, I knew I knew, I knew that I was going to hit all three. Well, you made a memory for everybody. Good luck. Back to you, Terry. All right, Leslie. Remember, though, Michael Weiss still to skate, the reigning champion. We'll have the march for Ryan Bradley, though, when we return to Cleveland. Weiss still to skate. Championship star studded crowd here. Enjoy the arena. Austin Powers, along with Ryan Bradley and his coaches. Technical merit 5.1 and 5.6. You never can tell what the audience is going to throw at you these days. But I've got to tell you, I've got to tell you those marks 5 6 were very generous. He had some trouble with the spins, and uh, it's, a, it's a youthful performance, but nevertheless, outstanding. And he's had a blast. You can tell the look on his face. He's been smiling and laughing throughout the entire week. Ryan Bradley from St. Joseph, Missouri. <laughs> I think he's a little bit of pizzazz, doesn't he? Uh, representing the all-year figure skating club in Culver City, California, would you please welcome Trippin Zivanovich. So here's a skater that could certainly shake things up at the top of the leaderboard. Trippin Zivanovich, last year's surprising silver medalist. That was a great moment when he captured that a season ago, but he's in fourth place, so he does not control his own destiny, as it were. He needs help from someone else to beat. Well, the reason he's using West Side Story is because that is supposedly a program that fits his mm -hmm. kind of rougher uh, style of skating. There's not a lot of, of elegance or line there. combination triple axle double toe he has yet to land a quad in competition but there's one planned here a quadruple toe loop if it becomes his first Such good height on that first part, did not control the landing, and turned right into three turns, and that will negate the combination aspect of that two-jump combination. You have to step directly in from one jump to another. No turns, extra moves allowed. Driven from Los Angeles, lives with his parents, helps out with his mother who has muscular dystrophy to the World Championships where he finished 16th. Neither Triffin nor Timothy Gable finished in the top 10 while Michael Weiss won the bronze medal there, but that's why the U.S. can only send two men to this year's World Championships.
into a triple sal cow. That had good height to it. Fast enough revolution so that the skater can pull out of the jump, still in the air, and then land it. That's the ideal way to do it. Complete the revolution in the air. his skating. It's rough, it's unpolished, it's energetic, it's really in a sense a lot of times out of control, but there's a nice quality to it, a good energy and a good uh, a good really athletic push to it. Well, Trippin Zivanovic isn't going to challenge Timothy Gable. He probably knew that when he took the ice. Michael Weiss, getting ready backstage, knows that he has to be perfect to have any chance to repeat as the national champion. Back in a moment. Welcome back live to the State Farm U.S. Figure Skating Championships. Terry Gannon, Dick Button, Leslie Visser with you. Don't forget tonight, should be a great final for the ladies. Comes your way at 9 Eastern and Pacific here on ABC Sports. Michelle Kwan in third place right now. Technical merit. Meanwhile, Trifon Zivanovic awaits his scores with his coach, Gary Visconti. First set for technical merit, Dick. And those are very creditable marks. It was not a... 5.7. A-plus world-class world championship and five level, four. but very good. Look at this quadruple toe that he planned, and but he did not even complete the fourth revolution and uh, did a very nice triple. 5.3. Uh, That's sort of like an insult. Isn't it? Yeah, it's, he only did a triple. How spoiled we've become. And presentation marks 5.3 up to 5.7. they're not very good because he really doesn't have a good sense of posture or style, and that... Uh, uh, although he has a, a great macho quality that fits the West Side Story image. So it's Timothy Gable ahead of Trifon Zavonovich right now. Your top in Colorado two. Colorado Springs. Let's have a warm welcome now for Damon Allen. Here's one of the veterans at this year's national championship. 26 years of age in Colorado Springs now, originally from Rockford, Illinois. His seventh trip to the Senior Nationals, Damon Allen takes the ice in fifth. problem that Damon Allen has had has been the inconsistencies he's had in these difficult elements. Triple, axle, and that was a problem right there. He fell out of it. He didn't complete the uh, revolutions to make a triple axle. And even as a double axle, it fell out on the landing. Switch the edge from the back outside turn of this. Well, he did in practice at any rate. Best laid plans, huh? Yep. Well, there. this is called a free program, and one of the free aspects of it is that you can change your, your choreography and your content uh, without penalty. Damon's best finish at the national championships. Fourth place finish back in 95. He's had so many injuries after starting with great promise. A stress fracture in his leg that kept him out of the 96 nationals that doctors said probably would never heal. 
Well enough for him to take the ice again. position here. This may be, uh, well, it was an attempt at a triple axle. Didn't get the revolution, crashed the landing. Headless spin. You know, it's a very steady program. He uh, kind of sort of was on one level through the whole thing, and I think that hurt, hurt the impact a little bit. Damon Allen, as Timothy Gable watches and waits, he is in first place right now. Remember, Michael Weiss will be the last man to take the ice this afternoon. Matthew Savoy is up next, though, as we continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Part of Timothy Gable's day right now, waiting to watch the other skaters, including Michael Weiss, who will be the last guy out there. Talk about a different mindset. Weiss, you saw his wife Lisa in the background a moment ago. Now the marks for Damon Allen. With his coach Diana Ronane. First set 5.1 up to 5.4 the range. Not very strong marks and uh, accurately so. The program missed on the uh, most obvious difficult triples and, and uh, doubles. Damon Allen from Rockford, Illinois. Same hometown as Janet Lynn, the great Janet Lynn. Better marks presentation wise. So Damon Allen into fourth place as Timothy Gable is obviously still your leader. Trippin Zivanovic in second and Ryan Yonke is currently in third place. He skated with one of the earlier groups, but he had a great performance in the free skate. But remember Matt Savoy competing on behalf of and Michael Weiss still to go here. Illinois. Let's welcome Matthew Savoy. So here is the 19 year old from Peoria. Matt Savoy, who is fourth just off the podium last season at the Senior Nationals. This is his third trip. And in third place after the short program. Spread Eagle, now watch him step right up into his triple axel. Very, very difficult entrance to that. And unfortunately, the triple axle was off and that threw off the triple toe. He 
He's a very controlled skater. basic position. He's straight on with the jumps, meaning he's not angled, he's not off-center, and he's a controlled skater. At a sophomore at Bradley University in Peoria, majoring in biology and carries an A average. Had a great year on the Grand Prix circuit this season. He's fifth at Skate America and won the bronze medal at Nations Cup in Germany. You can see here there's a very great awareness of the glide of skating, of stroking. Triple loop jump. He doesn't always stretch out his legs or point his feet, but there's a nice awareness of the smoothness of skating. Look at this hydroblading entrance right here. Now watch him step right up on the same edge into that triple lutz. Perfect position. That really put him in the right position. Very, very difficult. Wow. And he just unfortunately missed off that last one. Now that will give him some kind of a, a you know, of a failure of additional points. The overall performance so far is not scintillating and not really Spiffy. <laughs> Matt Savoy has never medal at the Senior National Championships. There is parents right there. Monica Rising is stepmother. Mike Savoy is father. Fourth last season. He may get a medal this year. There you see Michael Weiss, though, on the ice, warming up. He'll be next. His family is here in attendance. They have always been a great influence on him and a big part of his success. The family thing is just has always been great for me. It's always been, uh, you know, a great balance to my life and a great balance to have skating and, and family as well. And, you know, I, I couldn't be more thrilled. I have two healthy children and uh, it doesn't get any better than that. Just when you thought it was safe to leave your car in the parking lot, something evil will strike. You need a car tough enough to take it on. 
Chevy Malibu. With a steel safety cage, breakaway mirrors, a six-layer paint process, and bounce-back bumpers, it's one tough car. Chevy Malibu. We'll be there. This can't be happening. My family. How they manage. Men get heart attacks. Not women. Not me. It's the number one killer of women. It's heart disease. And it's now been proven that the same aspirin you take for pain can help stop women from dying if taken during a heart attack. Can your pain reliever do that? Talk to your doctor now. How you feel? I'll be fine. Bayer. Take it for pain. Take it for life. A significant discovery in eye health may be lutein, a nutrient found in these healthy foods, perhaps as vital to your eyes as the beta carotene in carrots. And now, Centrum and Centrum Silver are the only leading multivitamins that have lutein. So whatever your age, you can help maintain your precious sight. Look into Centrum and Centrum Silver, now more complete with lutein. Look in this week's Sunday paper for a money-saving coupon from Centrum Silver. They respect her. Competing against Michelle Kwan is really what my goal has been. They admire her. Yeah, I like Michelle Kwan. They want to defeat her. I could give her a strong challenge for the title. The country's rising stars challenge Michelle Kwan for her crown. The State Farm U.S. Figure Skating Championships tonight at 9 on ABC. Matthew Savoy waiting for his marks now. 5.3, 5.5. And there's 5 .4, the first set for technical merit, Dick. Listen, they were not as good as what he hoped for, but they were nice marks. He kind of let it drizzle a little bit. But look at this last, next to last move, this hydroblading position. Now watch him step right up and staying on the same edge. He goes and turns the edge to a back outside edge and steps up into that triple lutz. That was very difficult and very good. Remember, he was ahead of Trifon Zafanovic after the short program, but with those presentation marks, he is now behind Zafanovic. And there is the current leader, of course, Timothy Gable. How many bottles of water has he had in between? There's the Weiss family right there. Michael's father, Greg, on the left, Annie May. <laughs> and it, I don't know if you saw him, but Michael's grandfather, Lewis Sims, in attendance, too. So your standings, Timothy Gable, Trifon Zavonovich, and Matthew Savoy. And it comes down to this. Michael Weiss trying to defend his title as the U.S. champion. And he will need to be perfect to have a chance. And I think even more important than that, he's going to need that first jump, that quadruple toe loop. And then, and then hope that the impact and the theatrical pressure will handle it. As Michael's wife, Lisa, along with Ryan Wright, is one of his choreographers. In fact, he's got a number of choreographers for his free skate. There's something on the ice right now. That's why we have the delay in this has got to seem like an eternity to Michael Weiss. Actually, it's a very good thing for him because it allows him to... You can't hold your breath in, in nervous anticipation forever. You've got to let it out at some point, and that usually thins you out and makes you a little more relaxed. He represents the Washington Figure Skating Club in Alexandria, Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Weiss. The 23-year-old from Fairfax, Virginia. His best year as a skater last season but all kinds of problems this year because of the stress fracture in his ankle he says now that's fine he's back to 100 percent we'll see right now his chance to repeat as champion remember the music it's from the opera carmen Bizet. this quadruple jump triple jump not a quadruple so Weiss is yet to land a quad at the Nationals did he just lose any chance to win not at all triple axle triple toe 
Remember, he has a better overall theatrical impact and sense of theater and the originality. The steps and footwork are far better. Simply a matter of whether the judges will make this a triple jump contest solely. Toe loop, and those are neat and very good. So this is going to be a much, if he, if he skates this way through the whole program, it'll make a, a very interesting competition. lot about Timothy Gable being in his hometown and all the distractions that can cause. Well, Michael Weiss has his immediate family here and actually about 60 more relatives and friends that have come along with him. That's got to, to he's got to pay a price for that. spin this competition is coming down to one question and one question only and that is whether the judges will make this strictly a quadruple jump honoration and if it is Timothy Gable will get it I gotta tell you, as an overall program, this was the better one, and this was the better skate. There's Greg Weiss, Michael's father. No matter what the judges think, you can't take anything away from Michael Weiss. Did not hit the quad, but Lisa and everyone else here knows this was a terrific program for Weiss. And there is Timothy Gable wondering whether or not he will win his first gold medal or whether it will be Michael Weiss who repeats as the U.S. champion. We'll find out in a moment. The men's title at the State Farm U.S. Championships about to be decided right now as we await the march from Michael White. There is Timothy Gable with his coach, Carol Heiss Jenkins. And the long wait for you, Weiss right now. You know, there was a very interesting thing that happened here. Michael Weiss did three triple toe loops. Only two are permitted. One in combination and one singly. And he did three. And if the judges look at that, they will take one-tenth of a point off really on bad. each mark. Now, look at this attempt at his quadruple toe. Turn, step, toe pick, one, two, three. 
he opened up out. I think he could have had a quadruple there, but he opened up out as clean marks as for a clean Weiss triple for as you can ask Marin. for. And here is the triple axel, triple toe loop. 5.7. There it is. 5.6. And here the mark. 5.8. Look at these. 5.7. 5.7. Now Dick Technical Merit. And there, you know, there's plenty of room there to play with because remember, Timothy Gable got considerably lower and his presentation marks. For presentation. Mark. So this is the answer right here. Absolutely. A 6.0 uh -oh. uh -oh. for presentation. Michael Weiss has repeated. As the U.S. national champion in this building is stunned. Well, I'll tell you what happened was that the judges refused to allow it to be solely and purely a triple jump competition. That's what happened. That's what happened. And look at Mike. Oh, look at Timothy Gable. What a sense of disappointment. But I think it's a cheer. It's a cheer for overall skating that makes this uh, so memorable for Michael Weiss at this point. Even he had to doubt whether he had a chance with all the quads, the three quads that Gable pulled off. His longtime coach, Audrey Wiziger, in tears. We'll be back. Back in Cleveland, a crowd that is in shock, filing out of Gund Arena. As you look at the final standings, Michael Weiss, again the champion. Timothy Gable, three quads. He settles for the silver. Triffin Zavonovic wins the Browns. Let's go down to Leslie Visser right now. Terry, in all the discussion about quads, he showed it was about speed and spins and position. Congratulations, Michael. You said you weren't just going to defend your title. I, I, I can't even put it into words how amazing this was. Um, you know, the last couple months have been real difficult for me coming back from an injury. And I, I just stuck with my game plan. I went back and I took time off. And you know, I know there were a lot of doubters here. And I, I'm just so happy to come out here and do it at this moment, at this time. After such a long season, I well, you did words how amazing it was. My you, first you six proved it. I mean, it was your first six zero, and well done. Back to you, Terry. All right, Leslie. Congratulations, Michael. The fans at home voting online disagree. Sixty nine percent to Timothy Gable. Remember, ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com, part of the Go Network. We'll be with you tonight at nine Eastern for the Ladies Championship. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, continuing the tradition of excellence.